Hi there, it's my pleasure to introduce you to my two great gurus. One is Dr. Napoleon Hill, who really wrote the principle of success and also the Think and Grow Rich and so many books, who was really coached by Andrew Carnegie and another great Indian, Honorable G.V.K. Reddy, one of the greatest industrialist entrepreneur and philanthropic person. Beloved friends, since then I have been always teaching millions of people to emulate their path and always I tell them that you have all the chance to become great people on earth and for there are different uh, steps you have to follow. That is desire, decision, faith, persistence, master, malign and development planning or you can say the four measures, definition of purpose, mastermind reliance, going extra mile and tremendous capacity of applied faith. But once you are really trying your best and you are not succeeding, and there are a lot of failures, sort of defeats, and then there is a way you should never be frustrated and disappointed. Rather, treat these moments as testing time for you. And the same thing you now you can hear from my Great Guru, Dr. Napoleon, let's see what he say. Uh, accept the plan and act upon it at once. Uh, and remember always that there can be no such state of mind as faith without appropriate action. Faith without deeds is dead. And when overtaken by defeat, as you may be many times, remember that man's faith is tested many times and your defeat may be only one of your testing times. Isn't that an astounding and an encouraging thing to recognize is when you're meeting with defeat that probably in the eyes of your creator, you're only being tested to see whether you're a man or a worm. And believe you me, we all go through that testing time. And the ones that survive these tests and come out on top with an abiding faith are the ones that become truly great in life. I don't think there's any doubt in the world but what is the part of the creator's plan to see that everybody that amounts to anything above mediocrity must pay the price of undergoing test after test as to his faith. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. I see evidence everywhere that that's true. Any negative state of mind will destroy the power of faith and result in a negative climax. Your state of mind is everything. Why do you suppose that uh, in my notes here you notice that I have underscored your state of mind is everything. I underscored for emphasis. Why do you suppose I wanted to emphasize that statement? Thank <laughs> you.